Hello, hello, and welcome to At Home with Lucas. So today we're gonna to be talking about the B Moon H18 bike phone mount. This is actually a company that sent this bike phone mount to me and they said, we liked your other review you did on the bike phone mount. We want you to review our product and tell us what you think. So in this video, we're gonna be doing a hands-on with the box. Then we're gonna do a quick unboxing and first impressions. After that, I'm gonna strap this bad boy onto my cycling bike and I'm gonna take it out for a good long bike ride just to test out how solid it is. Is it gonna move around? After that, I'm gonna give you the full review. Yes, people. All right, let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, let's take a quick look at this bad boy right quick. So you got the B Moon right there, H18 bike phone mount, little image of what's to come in the box. I really like this sort of recycled look. This is very, very cool, reminiscent of Aki. There we go. All right, let's crack this open and take a look at the phone mount. Oh, they did a little bit. Oh, that's cool. A little bit of unboxing. Oh, it is a part of the box. Very cool. Okay, how to use. Pretty straightforward, people. All right. Nice. Boom. All right. Okay, that's cool. So the top slides up. Nice, that's cool. I have one where all four shoot out. So that's different, that is completely different. I'm guessing you take your phone and you slide it up. Oh, that is nice. Wow, I really like how easy that went in and let's see how easy it comes out. Wow, that is very, very straightforward, very simple. Truly a one-handed use, assuming that this actually mounts well onto said handlebar. All right. So it looks like this just snaps in here. Yes. Oops. You have to loosen that even more. Sometimes you got to take it completely off. There we go. That goes on there. Come on now, Lucas. There we go. Okay. All right, and that is on. Let's lock it in place like it would be on a bike. Okay, that's pretty solid. I'm gonna hold it. One-handed mount attempt. Boom, love that. Wow, okay, so let's try to take it off. One-handed, yikes. That did not work well. Okay, so I'm guessing it's gonna be a little bit different when you're actually on, when it's actually on a handlebar, you're gonna hold it, you know, two hands, whatever. Okay, so let's take a quick look. This is very, very hard, solid plastic. It gives a lot of confidence. It doesn't feel like it's going to just break off, um, although that's a tiny bit wobbly there. There's also some kind of grippiness. Let me see if I can't get that on camera. There's also some grippiness right up in there there we go all right so that's grippy so your phone's corners are not going to get gouged and messed up this is like a, a soft touch grippy rubber here um, not the most premium feeling rubber um, this whole thing feels just under premium i would say it's nice but it's not by any means like something that's gonna um, take a hit and keep on going this feels like if the bike falls this actually may break right here this feels slightly weak right in this area um, but nonetheless it definitely feels like your phone's going to be solid here is the way that you put it onto the handlebars all right that's pretty straightforward very very simple okay so coming up i'm going to throw this bad boy on my cycling bike and we're going to take it for a bike ride here we go I got my note 3 in this case I'm going to be mounting it on my mountain bike right here next to my go-to mount this is one of my favorite bike mounts that are made today I'm gonna strap that bad boy on right there and we'll get back to you okay the first thing that I really like is that this actually splits apart I thought I was gonna have to take this all the way off 
in order to put it on the bike. That is very cool. And then they give you these grips right here. So that is awesome. All right, I've got my little boy in the bike trailer. I'm gonna get this mounted and we'll see how it goes on. Okay, there we go. I got it fully mounted. Uh, first thing is this is a little bit weak right here and I didn't like, hold on buddy. I didn't like how it was kind of weak, but it mounted very, very easily and it looks good. I don't like how this is also sticking out. Um, my phone does not want to focus on that. Hold on. Uh, yeah, that is, so anyways, this thread right here, this bolt is sticking out. Hold on, buddy. All right, so that is the two mount side. I really like how much this sticks out right here. That is very nice. So if the phone takes a fall, or the bike, I should say, it's not gonna hit the phone at all. So that is very cool. There's a good look at it. All right, I'm gonna take my boy, who is very grumpy right now. <laughs> I'm gonna take my boy out on a bike ride and test this mount. We'll get back to you halfway. Okay, made it 1.3 miles. This thing is holding very sound. Um, it feels super nice. It's also closer to the handlebars than this one, so take that into note. They're, they're mounted at the exact same spot on the handlebars, yet this one is further up, so it sticks out a little bit more. This one's closer to the handlebar, um, and it, it seems very, very solid. It did not move at all. This one even vibrated a little bit more than this one did, so. Very nice so far, 1.2 miles in. We're at our local park. Got the boy out. Okay, so after the three and a half mile bike ride, this thing performed very, very nicely. Once again, you can see right here, this is way up higher than this B moon right here. Also, if you notice, they have a really clean looking way of mounting onto the um, bike, whereas this, once again, has this really atrocious thing right here, which should not be there. They should have figured out a way to change that, but of course, they're gonna push back, and they're going, ooh, that is terrible lighting. I would imagine they would push back and they would say we'd rather have this thing be quite long so you could put it onto something that has a giant handlebar, like a uh, stroller or something. So I could imagine that you know, being needed, but for aesthetics, it looks terrible and almost dangerous. So it locked on, this thing tightened up really nicely to keep it from moving up and down. I didn't have any worries about that. Let's do the um, one-handed test to see if I can get it out. Oh, that is so easy, wow, that is super easy. Let's do one-handed test to get it in, oh yeah. Wow, that is, okay, that is actually easier than this. This one, you can put it in one corner and pull it back, but this one feels like it's just a little bit easier with the way it's set up, so that's cool. Um, another thing is, it looks like it's smaller than this, but the footprint um, is probably about the same, and this just has more mass in here, less mass over here. So, um, it looks a little bit more like a smartphone when it's just sitting like that versus this thing kind of looks a little bit more cool. This is a little bit more boxy and whatnot. But um, all in all, I would say this thing is awesome. It works great. Um, it, I never felt like the phone was going to fall out of here. I felt like it was very, very solid and uh, can't say enough about it. Hey, what's up guys? I want to talk about a sponsor that I have for this channel, Don Pablo Coffee. Yes, people, Don Pablo makes an amazing variety of coffee. I actually went down to Miami, Florida and modeled for his bourbon infused coffee. Yes, people, they have bourbon infused coffee. This is coffee for the people who don't even like to drink coffee. This is coffee for people who love to drink coffee but are bored of the normal coffees. They have single serve bourbon infused coffee. They have whole bean bourbon infused coffee, not to mention all the other varieties they have. They are a small batch coffee roaster. Now you're probably thinking, what does that mean? What does it mean? I'm going to tell you, a small batch means you're going to get a fresher bean. Yes, people, everything they roast is roasted smaller, which means you're getting a fresher batch. All the other companies roast in ginormous 
roasting contraptions and that means you're getting it less of a fresh batch so click the link down below go buy some amazing coffee and let's get back to the video <laughs> So final thoughts on the B Moon bike mount. I think this thing is very, very nice. I think it was built well. It's not too heavy. The only thing I would change, as I've said now twice, is this right here. I would figure out some way to not have that be there. So B Moon, if you're listening, uh, definitely change that up for sure. Uh, this feature right here is very, very cool. It means you do not have to um, fully unthread this whole thing just to get this around the uh, handlebar. Also, I like how there's a hinge right here. Some do not have a hinge. Some you just have to stretch and you could possibly break it at that point. So that is very, very cool. I like how easily you can do a one-handed maneuver with this thing and just slide your phone straight into it and it locks in and you have no worries. Um, this thing can hold a very large phone uh, or a phone with a case. Um, and I really like how you don't have to add anything extra to the bottom like my other bike phone mount. You had to actually add layers of foam to the bottom to uh, counter the thinness of a phone. So if your phone was too thin, you had to add like two layers. If it was too thick, you had to add um, less layers. So it was really, really annoying. And um, yeah, so all in all, I'm going to say that this is a solid four and three quarters uh, star rating out of five. I'm going to say this is not a five star device. I can't say that, uh, but it is four and three quarters. It's very, very solid. You're going to have no problems with this at all, but there probably are a few other bike phone mounts on the market that are just a little bit better than this. Uh, my biggest fear is that it's this part right here is just not going to be able to um, stay tight, um, and it just has a it, it just has a little bit of a um, flimsiness to it around this part here. So, because of this here and the thread there, I can't give it a solid five star. But four and three quarter is very good for this thing. I really like the one-handed ability to um, put in a very large phone. I think they came up with something very cool here. This um, is ingenious, really. This is so, so, so nice. The one-handed application is what you want. You do not want to have to have um, your two hands involved. Of course, as you saw earlier, when it's on the bike, you can do it without your second hand. So I'm just showing you right now. I know my last phone mount review, I got a lot of criticism because I did not put a phone into said mount. You could find that video on my channel. Um, I did not have a second phone at the time to throw around. I actually film on my main phone right here. This is actually all being filmed on my Galaxy uh, Note 10 Plus. So uh, that is what's capturing my entire YouTube channel as of now. So. Four and three quarters, very, very solid. Um, I really liked how it went on the bike. I really liked how it functioned during the bike ride. And I love how the phone goes on. And these little grippy things, of course, made it snug as a bug in a rug. All right, four and three quarters, buy it, put it on your bike, put it on your stroller, put it on your shopping cart, <laughs> take it with you, go places, people. Awesome. All right, there you go. That's the B-Moon bike phone mount. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely clickety-clack that like button. If you wanna join the At Home with Lucas family and you wanna be a part of this crew, hit that subscribe button. Every time I get a subscriber, I get a boost to make more and more videos and it's because of you guys, I surpassed 2K. Yes, people, on my way to 3K. So thankful, so appreciative. You guys are amazing, but I need your help. Yes, you right there, I need your help. Tell your friends, tell your family, this guy's on YouTube and they should go subscribe and watch my channel. But as always, I thank you for watching each and every one of my videos and I will catch you in the next one. Bye bye